Baby, welcome to the party. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a thug. Give me lit. Give me lit. Got no money. One in the head. One in the head. Send in the clip. Send in the clip. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So basically this is gonna be a makeup tutorial and as you can see I've already put on my base, like my foundation and my concealer and my contour, cream contour. So I'm just like padding in right now. But I'm gonna reapply some concealer again and I use the concealer in C12 from Makeup Revolution. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on it and then we're gonna get back into blending just blending 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 but um i hope you guys like this video the reason why i'm doing a voiceover is because i was not in the mood to record and talk hey mommy but um which is why i just said i'll do a voiceover on my last video on youtube so sad the quality was reduced down to nothing for um no reason at all but uh, we move so i'm just using a brush to put some like leftover residue of the cream contour which i used on my um nose and then i'm using the back of my beauty blender to like kind of blend it in then the front again because i don't like using a brush to do my nose contour because it's very very harsh and um just to get rid of my like laugh lines and smile lines i just pat around my smile area so now we're gonna set i use a makeup revolution setting powder the luxury banana powder and i just use like a little sponge to set and i just pour it out onto my little plate thing like so and she is i love referring to myself as she she's a cute she's a cutie okay so the way i set is i pat it on like i put it on and then i set it in i don't leave it there to bake if that makes sense so i put the amount that i want on pat it in a little bit then go put it all in the other areas and then go back and pat it in whereas other people would bake i don't really like to bake because i feel like it leaves it gives you flashback well i don't really get flashback because of the products that i use but um that's what I found when I used to use um, stuff other than Makeup Revolution. So like I said, now I'm just going to do my um, my jaw, my jawline, my cheekbones. And I like to like do a little curve to the front because it makes it look so cute. And I put it on all the other areas that I would probably get like oily and on my nose as well. Just to give me that contoured nose look. And make sure you get around your T-zone because that's the area that always gets oily. So you can see I'm just doing my forehead there as well and um i don't know why she keep posing so much well i think i was getting a youtube <laughs> a thumbnail but i'm not gonna use a thumbnail from youtube i'm gonna make one so um now i'm gonna actually use the bronzer which i'm using as a mirror which is the fenty coco mommy i'll have to double check and i'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks i use it as a contour because i like the color a lot it gives me a very warm tone that i'm looking for i rather have like a warmer tone on my face than like a um like a gray i want warm undertones that not like gray undertones so i'm just basically contouring all the areas that i would usually contour this face is beat or is it not like i don't know about you guys but i'm feeling her for it. even the hair hair is from king's collection hair by the way it's laid oh this was when i was dabbing my beauty blender into my powder to see how it would turn out and um guys it's bomb i will be repeating this act you see i like it do you see that little smirk she likes it and so now i'm going to dab in my beauty blender dab in with my beauty blender like i said before like patting it in with um the beauty blender instead of brushing it away and leaving it like just there with like loads of powder as you can see like from before when i was dabbing it in with the sponge there's not as much as there would be if you just left it there i don't brush it away because it gives you streaks when you dab it in it makes it even more seamless it makes it look more like skin oh i love it and that's exactly what you're gonna see when i finish padding it all in but guys let me know what else you guys want to see in the comment section below because in my last video i said the description box but 
comment section below because i'm really trying to take this youtube thing serious like for real and i'm ready like you know i'm ready to be the next nella rose and patricia bright so basically now i'm just gonna use a residue from the brush just to resharpen that line and sometimes i like to do it like near my temples because i don't like when the line goes all the way to my temples just where my eye stops like the the um the setting powder line and i'm just wiping away a bit of makeup for my hair as i go because that's an essential that's also an essential to be doing while doing your makeup i just kept looking at myself because i just look cute as hell but um we move next thing i'm going to use is the makeup revolution contour powder it's in deep dark and i'm just gonna use that to contour and also like this one again it gives me a very like <laughs> she's going through a lot it gives me a very like there was a hair or something i think there's a hair in there come on girl you can get it a so it gives me also an, a warmer tone like i use three different um contour and bronzers just to give me three different kind of brown tones on my face and i think that's really really nice i have one that's kind of dark and i have one like a dark brown then i have one that's like a chocolate brown and then i have one that's like a caramel and they make the, my face how my face looks if that makes sense i feel like everyone should find the three different contours face powders that it is that they're looking for to make like that look i feel like it really brings it all together and then the next thing i'm gonna use is this press powder from makeup revolution and i just dab that in with my beauty blender and i pat it into my under eyes again just to brighten up a little bit because i love that whole bright under eye look that i always have it's my fave it's my signature look oh no <laughs> it's my signature look and um and i don't know if you guys can notice well obviously you can notice because it's in the video but you can still see that i have my setting powder still on my cheeks because that's the only place i would probably say that i bake because i want to have it really highlighted and it's much easier and it doesn't um like streak when i use a brush because of the motion that it is and if i do see any streaks i can just pat it in with a beauty blender like with my um powder and this is my best friend in the whole world my milani in the color honey amber number two and this milani powder is the powder i was talking about that gives me that caramel look i hope you can really see it on camera so i just use like a wide brush and i get all up in there and i'm just opening my mirror again and i just put it exactly on my cheeks like so and you can just see you can see that difference you can see how it makes it just more warm and honey like and like a chocolate goddess and then i just use this powder to brush away my um contour my highlight my setting powder <laughs> i just use this powder to brush away my setting powder i use it also as a face powder so i kind of put it like all over my face a little bit you know in all the areas that i feel like it needs to be on because it just makes it look very nice and look more natural i feel like that's why i love it like i also put it at the side there like i said i don't like when it's like <sniffs> all the way to like my ear because that's unnecessary and the next part i'm going to be using is my eyeshadow palette which is the roxy and sophie x oh it's not eyeshadow it's contour we're still contouring karen okay so i guess i wanted a darker or a harsher contour line which is why i went into this palette so this palette is new as you can see how beautiful it looks i love this palette the contour colors are amazing i got it in light to medium um because i like like i said i, I feel like whenever they want to make darker palettes they always make them with like dark undertones and it's not pretty i want to look like i'm glowing so medium to light always does that for me and i'm also using the the highlighter in that palette and the bronzer together just to highlight my cheeks a little bit because i like the shine that it gives me like you can see that that shit is shining honey let's fucking go um oops i hope youtube doesn't demonetize me for that anyways highlight the nose also because we want the nose to be seen from mars or the moon this is the sophie x palette that i was talking about if you know me if you watch my snap or my instagram you know this is my best friend so i'm gonna confess something to you guys this palette is where i get my blush from that's the blush i'm putting on right now i'm a liar all the other blushes i've used 
that I said I've used, I don't use them. This is the only blush that I really use. So, um, yeah, just go get that palette. The best eyeshadow colors in the world. Like, y'all are going to see when I start to put my eyeshadow on. What the hell am I looking for? Oh, <laughs> the brush that was in my hand. But, yeah. So, oh, I forgot to do eyeshadow. I was about to close it up. So, we're going to do eyeshadow. And I'm a weirdo. I can do eyeshadow with literally, like, just one brush the whole time. I don't even be changing my shit. Like, I'm bad as hell. Oh, my God. They're going to demonetize me. So basically, the look I was going for today is the look I usually always go for. My back hurting. So I'm going to use the brown palette, the brown color up top. I think it's called Cheesecake. I'll double check. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. And I'm going to blend and blend and blend till my hand falls off, until I'm tired. And we're just going to blend. I'm going to use this as my transition color. I think it's a very, very pretty color. Like, that's why I like to use it as my transitional color. It's the one that's literally almost finished. I always use it. And then the next color I'm going to use is, um, I think, I'll have a look. I'll just put it in the description box below because um, my palette is not handy right now. And I don't know why I didn't show you guys properly. So, I'm looking for something. Oh, I'm going back to the Roxy palette. And I'm going to use the pink on the roxy palette karen is that what we're on okay okay yeah i like it you like it Ooh, it's the pink it's like a pink shimmer highlight i remember this was pretty as hell y'all can see that this was pretty as hell so um we're just putting that on our crease you work your way work girl i'm gonna just keep quiet jai you just work your magic girl like go ahead with your fine self what the fuck off she like how she look look at her she love herself i love you too honey so then we're gonna go back to the other palette i think i hope or are we going for eyeliner oh mascara so the mascara i use is the bad girl bang mascara from benefit and just before mascara i'm gonna do liner and the liner i'm using is the nyx I don't remember the name. I think it's called Better Than Black or something. And it's this is the best liner in the world. This is the only eyeliner I use. Like, it's so fucking amazing. And it just lines so well for me. So let's just have dead silence while we watch this. And we're back. So, we're still lining, but I just wanted you guys to, like, can we just look at this eyeshadow look? Like, this is, this is, like, two-minute eyeshadow, and it's popping. Like, honey, wait till I apply my lashes on as well. Y'all are not ready for me for when I have my lashes on also. But, um, so, yeah, I'm just lining. And then I use the liner to make my little spot also after i'm gonna make my little spot on my face i always do that little spot i have a little i have a real beauty mark on top of my lip but because my makeup always covers it i like to make my spot on my cheek i feel like it just makes it look cute like that just makes that makes such a huge difference i don't even care what anybody says but yeah now i'm gonna do my mascara my mom tried to fight me for this mascara i was like sis i don't give up like, that's my mascara. And I took it right back from her. Who else's mom's make, like, loves to try still their makeup? Like, go buy your own, sis. The fuck? But, yeah. So, like, look how amazing this mascara is. If I actually sat down and put this mascara on properly, it would give me, like, voluminous lashes. It's such a great mascara. And it really makes your lashes long and full. And they come out way more when you properly do it. And I also put a little bit on my bottom lashes. Because, as you can see, voila. Chef's kiss. That makes all the difference, honey. Just, like, blush those to your face. I feel like blush just makes your face, like wow like blush should really be doing it for me so when karen is finished doing her bottom lashes because i know she's going back in again i know this bitch oh no okay i know it i knew it next thing we're gonna do is our 
we're gonna line our lips or i'm gonna put my lashes on i don't know yet i'll see at the same time as you guys okay moment of truth moment of truth mm -hmm. liner okay liner so the lip liner that i use is um my lip liner from kiko this is my best friend it's the kiko lip liner in the number 321 this lip liner honeys is the best like this is the only lip liner that i use um apart from the one i stole from my friend to me hi to me um so i didn't steal it actually i accidentally put in my makeup stuff and now the liner is mine and that's how life goes so i'm just making my little triangles the way i like to make them i'm actually gonna get my lip fillers very soon and um because i'm just tired of lining my lips the way i would just like them to naturally be and i kind of mess it up a little bit but once you put on lip gloss and all that jizz it's gonna be okay because right now i looked crazy but it's all right it's all right we're gonna fix it so i actually put the line like i line down the middle of my lip my top and bottom lip because i feel like it makes it just look plumper when i put on my um when i put on my actual other lip thingies i don't know why my brain doesn't work today but this is the liner i was talking about that i accidentally took from to me and i just kind of use it to like outline a tiny bit because it's a little bit darker the kiko one is more whiny this one is more chocolatey and the two together is just bomb so that's the nyx lip butter cream in madeline because i know that shit off by heart and then i'm gonna use here comes my mom she wanted the hairbrush and then hi mom with her crazy self then I'm going to use my Butter Gloss from um, NYX and this is in the color Cairo or I think it's the other way around, Cairo and Madeline. But anyway, those are the two colors that I use. Then I use the gloss. This is the best glosses. You can just get it from a drugstore or you can just get it from like the hair shop when coronavirus is finished. As you can see, I'm in need of more as I'm squeezing the hell out of it. And this just brings the combo all together. Ugh, look at me. I'm in love with myself. I love you too, honey. Just putting that all over there. Like, I feel like glossy lips is the best. I don't really wear matte. You, that's not even, I don't even, it's not even a really thing. I don't wear matte. You won't catch me wearing matte. My lips will always be glossy to the gods, honey, to the gods. So, Karen, are we going to be finished glossing anytime soon? Okay, she's finished. Perfect. Okay. So what happened was my camera decided to cut out and I didn't get the power of my lashes. But this is how it looked in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching.